Hello friends, this video on alternating currents part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 5 before going ahead with part 6. How we discussed about RMS voltage, it is now time to discuss about RMS current. So what is RMS current? So easy to understand now because now you are already fami familiar to RMS voltage. RMS current is nothing but root mean squared current. They are also the same thing like for an alternating current you need to mention the um, effective current, right? So the effective value of alternating current is nothing but root mean squared current. So as said it is the effective current. Square root of the mean of the squared function of instantaneous values supplies the same power to the load as an equivalent DC circuit. So everything stands the same, right? So when we talk about RMS current, it is again represented as I RMS and this I RMS is square root of the mean of squared function of instantaneous values. So if these are your instantaneous values, then this would be your RMS value of current, right? So this is in case of a discrete function. Similarly, if we talk about a continuous function, for example, if we talk about the sine function or our alternating current, which we normally represent as instantaneous alternating current is represented as I is equal to I m sine omega t. So in this case, I RMS is equal to I m divided by root 2. So everything is similar between um, RMS current and RMS voltage, right? Okay, so now we will quickly have an overview of all the different types of currents which we studied so far. We talked about RMS current, we talked about instantaneous current, we talked about uh, average current, we talked about peak value of current. So what are, I mean, let me clarify once and let's see quickly what, I mean, so that you do not get confused with any of this because what happens is as we go later, we can we see that the current is this much right so it is up to you to decide that which value of current is it talking about whether it is rms current or it is peak value of current so what are the different current values which we talked about one is instantaneous value the other one is peak value of current the other one is average value of current over a cycle and the last one is the rms value of current so these things are not only for current, they are also for voltages. For voltages also you have instantaneous value, peak value, average and RMS. So when I talk about an instantaneous value of current, so it is just a quick review. So instantaneous value is I is equal to I m sine omega t. So here this I is the instantaneous value. This is how we represent current. So what does this I represent? It represents the value of I at every instant of time. So as this omega t keeps changing, the value of I keeps changing. That means with every instant, the value of current is changing. So this is your instantaneous current. This value I m represents the maximum value which I can take. For example, if this is this is how we represent the instantaneous current. That means the value of I at every point on this plot is changing, right? And the maximum value which this plot can take is nothing but I m. That is the peak value, right? So, so we got instantaneous value and peak value. What about RMS value which we talked about just now? So, RMS value is nothing but peak value divided by root 2. So it would come somewhere around this place. I RMS. Right? So somewhere below this peak value of current. So this I RMS represents nothing but at the effective value of current 
for this alternating current. So it is the effective value of this alternating current. If somebody says yeah, effectively how much is this alternating current? So you can say that the effective that uh, overall the current is this much. So that this much is nothing but your RMS current. So then what is average current? So average current would mean the value of the current over one complete cycle on an average or the mean value of current over one complete cycle. So let us, so what is the mean value of current over one complete cycle? I mentioned before also that this value comes out to be zero because here your current is positive, here it is negative. So they both will cancel out and it will turn out to be zero over one complete cycle. So do you want to see how it comes out to be zero? Let us try to calculate I average. So this I average would be nothing but integration of the entire function over this whole time. That means integration of the instantaneous current. That means let us suppose the instantaneous current is for any one instant here. Right. So I want to integrate it throughout this. That is I want to integrate it over the time interval or the time period capital T. So I will integrate this from 0 to capital T since so this would be your sum of values divided by the number of values. That is how we calculate average. Right. So this would be divided by T. So this will be equal to 1 by T integration of I m sine omega T dt from 0 to capital T. So this comes out to be so integration. So this comes out to be this I m we can take outside. Integration of sine omega t is nothing but cos omega t divided by omega from 0 to t. So this comes out to be I m divided by t into omega into minus cos omega t plus cos 0. So this is equal to I m divided by t omega. So minus cos omega t. I, what do we know? Omega is equal to 2 pi by t. So we can put that and we get minus cos 2 pi plus 1 because cos 0 is 1. Now what is the value of cos 2 pi? Cos 2 pi is equal to 1. So this becomes equal to I m divided by t omega minus 1 plus 1. So this comes out to be 0. Therefore the average value of current over one complete cycle is equal to 0. So I am sure now that by looking at an alternating current if somebody asks you how much is the alternating current you can say that the alternating current doesn't have the same magnitude throughout it doesn't have a constant magnitude it keeps changing therefore there are different values to characterize or to determine the alternating current you have instantaneous value to tell the value at every instant you have RMS value to tell the effective value of the alternating current. You have average value to tell the average current over one complete cycle. And you have um, your peak value which tells that the current will oscillate between these two values. For example, plus I m and minus I m. So this is plus I m and this value will correspond to minus i m right so this means that the current alternating current will alternate or it will oscillate between these two values right so these are the four different values which determine alternating currents or alternating voltages right so i hope that by now you are getting better idea of uh, what an alternating current is what are we going to study in this lesson so I also introduced all this RMS currents, average currents while discussing about your resistive circuit. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.